So welcome everybody to another guided meditation, midweek meditation. So the quote I'd like to share with you today is, we already have everything we need. We already have enough of everything. And we ourselves are already enough. That's kind of an amalgamation of a few quotes, I think, from the Dalai Lama and others such as Pima Chodron. But I think it's really interesting, uh, particularly at this time of the year, because you think on that basis, we could forget all about fixing ourselves, wouldn't you? Uh, yet all the self-development material that's offered out there says something quite differently, especially at this time of the year. New year, new you, um, etc. So following on our theme last week that we're the perfect version of ourselves exactly as we are, and meditation is all about coming to that acceptance, let's sit with the practice of acceptance and guidance that we are enough, we have enough. Now, no practice is easy, certainly not acceptance of the selves exactly as we are. We have that mean gremlin on our shoulder always telling us, you know, oh, you're not good enough. You're not thin enough. You're not clever enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not intelligent enough or, or whatever. And then, of course, we've got social media that kind of reinforces that and glossy magazines reinforce all of that as well. But we are enough. So we're going to take some deep breaths. And in this session, we're going to create that special space as we always do, just to sit and contemplate the concept that we already have enough, that we are enough, whatever enough means to you. So let's get centered and bring that awareness back to the body after what has possibly been a busy morning. And let's see what's going on with us internally today, shall we? So sitting upright, shoulders raised, diaphragm lifted so you can breathe properly. I invite you to try meditating with your eyes open if it's comfortable for you. Just have them about a foot in front of you, just a nice soft gaze not searching. And then when you feel that you're in a balanced position, let's become present using the breath with the 21 normal breaths, whatever normal means for you. Let's reduce any anxiety or agitation in our mind. Starting one. Two. Three,
And if you want to add in a body scan, just checking from head to toe that you're relaxed, not holding any tension in any part of your body. If you find it, just breathe it out with a really long, deep breath. Acknowledge it's there, but don't engage with it. And if we can accept we already have everything we need in our environment, we already have enough of everything, and we are enough, then intuitively we know that we don't really need to change, fix, or get better at anything. We just need to show up as the best version of ourselves, consistently, day in, day out. And when we have that intention, we're a good candidate for enlightenment, says Pima Chodan. So just relax into your awareness of the breath. And you can either count in cycles of 10, or if you prefer, say breathing in, I am enough. Breathing out, I have enough, and repeat. Breathing in, I am enough. Breathing out, I have enough.
know that looking at ourselves with acceptance is not our usual habit. Most of us have a mean gremlin belittling in us. But when we realize that thoughts, feelings and emotions are not us, they don't define us, they're not who we are. They're really just like clouds that come and go. Then we can appreciate the wisdom of the Buddha saying, this too shall pass. Because whether something is good or bad, everything passes, nothing is permanent. When we stand in a stream of water, we may think we're standing in the same stream of water, but we're not. It's constantly flowing and we'll never be stood in the same spot again with the same water. We may think we're exactly the same as we were a minute ago, but we're not. We're changing all the time, especially at a cellular level, every second of every hour, every day. And that's why living and dying is so entwined. And when we learn to stop clinging and craving for more or better, or even to keep things the same and accept that we have enough, we are enough. This can help us to be much calmer, less anxious people. So just keep relaxing into that awareness of when you breathe in, saying, I am enough. And when you breathe out, saying, I have enough. Your mind can't distinguish between negative and positive, so we need to keep reaffirming positive messages. Even at a cellular level, we're taking this on board. I am enough. I have enough.
as we get ready to come out of today's practice, take a couple of deeper breaths. And as always, I invite you to set an intention for the rest of the day of what you're going to do to build on the momentum of this spacious, quiet reflection you've just engaged in. When you're ready, raise your gaze or open your eyes and return to the room. Welcome back. How was your sit today, I wonder? What, if anything, would anybody like to share? Either that you've noticed from spending that spacious time with yourself today or perhaps during one of your sits since last week. all good okay well if we're all comfortable we'll wrap up as usual with a metaverse for the benefit of everybody which is in the chat box as usual may i and all sentient beings be they near or far tall or small human or inhuman no pure, unconditional love, happiness, peace, and wisdom. wisdom. Namaste. Thank you, thank you for sharing this special time. It's always an honor to spend this time with you every week. I will see you same place, same time next week. In the meantime, stay safe, stay warm, and stay in touch with the breath. Yeah. The only thing we yes. can rely on to stop the agitation and anxious mind getting the better of us. Have a good week.